Hey Tinker, where can I find a graphic designer? Please stand by for assistance. Thank you. Hello, are you prepared to work closely with the graphic designer for your project? Mm -hmm. Does the thought of searching for a graphic designer make you maybe a little uneasy? Yeah. I do understand your apprehension. Creative types do tend to be on the unusual side. Is that a kitty? Uh-oh. Oh, aren't you just the kittiest boy? Oh, you're such a kitty boy. There you go, buddy. You have nothing to fear, and surprisingly, we fit into the same biological classification as you do. With perhaps maybe a stronger desire to be recognized for our uniqueness. At the end of the day, we're just men and women with a gift for solving creative problems. Today I'll cover three tips that you as a client should keep top of mind as you search for the graphic designer best suited to help solve your creative problem. Tip number one, research designer portfolios. I've had a lot of clients come to me by referral. And while word of mouth is a great start in locating a creative pro in your area, it's important to know that no two graphic designers are the same. One of the best ways for you to know if I'm the creative professional for you is to look at work that I've done. The strengths of one designer might be just the right recipe for one client, but a pretty poor choice for another. And I'm very pleased to present you with your logo proof. Is something wrong? Fabrizio, I loved how expressive you are with your design, and that's why I chose to work with you. But I think I want my logo to reflect the values of my target audience. And they are... Parents of preschool-aged children? Oh, no. It's a good idea to do a bit of research to find a creative pro that you think will be a good fit for your project to be sure that their style of work matches up with the style that you hope to achieve for your tribe. Tip number two, clearly communicate the assignment. Once you find one or two graphic designers that you like, you want to set up a meeting with each to discuss the scope of your project. Because in order for us to reach the best possible outcome for you, we both need to be very clear about the assignment at the outset. Designers all have different ways of doing this. It's usually good to meet in person, at least for the first meeting. Make sure your designer knows how you prefer to communicate. Phone or email are common methods. I think email is the best option for sending proofs and for making revisions to the design. It'll also give both you and the designer a running history of the exchanges between you. There are vital decisions that must be made along the life of the project. Remember that your designer wants your design to be just as fantastic as you do. Just speak plainly and be completely open about your goals for this assignment. So clear communication is a vital tool to have when choosing your creative pro and will serve you well during the project too. Tip number three, know what you value the most. The last tip addresses one of the most commonly asked questions clients have when deciding which creative to work with. How much do you charge? This question can vary greatly depending on the scope of work to be done. I believe that a great follow-up question is, what do you value most for your project? Do you value having creative control at every juncture within your project? Or will you be content with your creator deciding the concept and direction of the project? Creative control is different than approval. You would still be expected to approve everything. More control typically means you are choosing the role of creative director. This also means more revisions to the design, which will increase your designer's production time and the budget. Maybe you value a quick turnaround. Make sure your designer knows about your deadline ahead of time. Depending on the workload of the creator, he or she may have to work overtime or on a weekend to meet your deadline. If I do accept work during my personal time like this, there's usually a rush fee of 15%. It's very similar to getting a package shipped to you sooner, where the shipping company charges a higher fee to prioritize your package or to guarantee a quicker delivery date. So consider what you value the most and communicate this with your graphic designer. Is it speed, quality, competitive pricing? This will help him or her to provide an estimate for your project that is fair for both of you. So there you have my top three tips to help you find a graphic designer. Tip number one, research designer portfolios to make the best fit for your project. Tip number two, clearly communicate the assignment so you both know the full scope of the work being done. 
And tip number three, know what you value the most for this project. Creative control, quick turnaround, high quality, low pricing. Make sure your designer knows what you value the most. Well, I hope this video can help ease your mind in making the process of finding a graphic designer a little less unnerving. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up. To see more videos, click over here somewhere. To subscribe, click my little avatar over here. Until next time, toodles.